So, once they pulled that shit, I started doing my own things in Vegas nobody ever thought of doing. To keep an eye on things, I brought in my kid brother Dominic and some desperados from back home and started knocking over high rollers, casino bosses, bookmakers, anybody right here in town. I had a good fucking crew going for me, I'll tell you that. I had Sal Fusco, a great second story guy, Jack Hardy, he worked for a safe company before he did a six year bit. And then there was Bernie Blue, this guy could bypass any alarm for me. It was like old times. And I opened up my own jewelry store too, the Gold Rush. Sometimes I used to go along on the heist just for the fun of it. But I didn't like the people I was ripping off looking at me, so I used to turn their fucking pictures around. Take it so long over there. This Peter's a motherfucker. It's working, this keep working. It's you gotta learn how to open these fucking things so you don't have to take them. Frankie, some of these stones got a lot of niggers in them. Tell that fucking Peppy, if he switched stones on us, he better take a fucking camel back to Nigeria. Yeah. And they're in Penthouse K. They checked in alone? They checked in alone. Are they out now? Yes, don't worry. All right, thanks. He had tipsters all over town. Bellman. This one looks good. But you got to hurry. Yeah, yeah, okay. Valet Parkers. We're just checking in now. Okay, I'll tell her. Pit bosses. Yeah, from 12.30 at the Sorocco. 12.30, right. Secretaries. In condition coins. In condition, all right. And they all got a piece of the score. Car's coming. They were very careful. They always bypassed the alarms or else, if not, they'd drill enough holes to knock through the walls with a sledgehammer. Nicky was grabbing everything he could. Nobody out there was expecting a guy like him. To Nicky, Las Vegas was the fucking Wild West. I just got a shipment of diamonds from Israel. But what the fuck they expect from me? I had to earn, didn't I? 